Hello everyone, this is Simmer Erin. If you are new here and you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. So today I will be making high school stereotypes with a twist, and the twist is that every single sim I made has a trait you wouldn't expect. So I do not remember exactly who I made, to be honest. I believe I made kind of like a jock athlete, kind of like football guy. I think I make like a drama girl and I think I make like a cheerleader, so just stay tuned to see all the people I make. But I thought this would be a great time to talk about bullying. <laughs> and I had some recent things come up in my life that kind of reminded me of my experience with bullying and just how I kind of like think about it, I guess. So if you guys haven't guessed, I'm a little bit of a sensitive person and I think that anyone who is subjected to any kind of bullying can be sensitive. And so I'm just going to go really quickly with my story because it's not super long and I don't want to spend the whole video talking about myself. I'm just using this example. So I was lucky enough that I didn't really get bullied much in high school. I got bullied a little bit, I guess, in junior high, but it was pretty limited. It was mostly like that there were some girls on the cross country team that I ended up being a little bit faster than and they were older than me and I think they were kind of upset about that and they said some things behind my back but again like I said it was pretty limited at the time it hurt but it wasn't a big stain or anything on my life. I had I have a long story about high school stuff and issues with that but it wasn't exactly direct bullying I guess except for well I'll get into that later. I had a big friendship group, a couple friendship groups break up and that really messed me up for a long time. But as far as outright bullying, my story begins in my freshman year of college. I don't know why I can't talk. And I basically had a roommate. I was nervous about having a roommate, you know, because I like my space and I'm an introvert. She seemed nice enough. I went there and we had this big room. It was actually supposed to be a triple sized room. I don't know why, but that's what they assigned us to. It was older, so it wasn't as nice as it sounds. Anyway, so basically, I disclosed to her, decided it would be better to disclose to her that at that time, and I mean, I still have some mental health stuff, but like, I was having a lot of issues. And honestly, I probably should have waited to go to college, and I disclosed to her that, you know, I have a lot of anxiety and depression and some other things, you know, that I'm dealing with. And so I might need, you know, to be able to get into the room, whatever. And she acted fine, but she's like, yeah, okay. But she actually had this huge group of friends, and she also had a boyfriend, and she always wanted to have the room basically to herself to prepare for parties. I was not partying. And she also wanted her boyfriend to sleep over a lot. And I kind of shared with her that, you know, I needed to be able to A, get in the room to sleep and study, and B, that, you know, I was a little bit uncomfortable with her, especially if she was like, yeah. So anyway, I kind of shared that with her, and she got really mad at me, and basically she started locking me out of our room for like hours at a time, and it became this whole thing, and she told like half of the hall about me about my mental illness and stuff like that and I caught them laughing about it and texting and then I asked the RA to you know like can I move out of here it's a bad situation and her her solution was we should try to get along and then her next solution was okay you can move down the hall so I did end up actually moving down the hall but I mean not real great you know and so I actually ended up leaving that university. It wasn't actually completely because of that. I, by the end of the semester, I couldn't stay there anymore um, for mental health reasons too, but that definitely contributed to it. And, you know, I found out years later, she ended up being like the class president and gave the speech. And now I can kind of laugh about it, but at the time it really hurt, especially because I trusted I trusted that person with this thing that I felt was really important to me and special. And so for a long time, I decided that I would just not tell anyone about any of my mental health issues and I would just be closed off as much as possible and I just told myself I couldn't get hurt like that again. So from the story, my message is it's 
bullying's really hard and people say things about you that aren't true or they'll say things about you you don't think represent themselves yourself and sometimes we don't sometimes we get an idea of why they're doing that sometimes you just don't know sometimes something is going on in that own person's life and they feel the need to do that but I think what's really important and what's so hard about bullying is to get through it a you need friends and B you need to be assured in yourself enough to know who you are and that that bully doesn't define you and I think I think that's really hard. I think it's hard for all of us. And all of us have been unkind, too. It's not just that, you know, even people who have been bullied sometimes, maybe not outward bullying other people, but maybe said something, you know, that later impacted them. I mean, sometimes I think back to, I feel like there's always moments in our lives where we could have been a little kinder, you know what I mean? So it goes both ways. None of us are just victims. And I think... The goal of all this is just to think about, you know, how it impacted you and just to be really careful about treating other people as a people of kindness. I don't think that we have to like everybody. I don't think that's realistic. And I think we have different personalities for a reason and I'm okay with that. But I was just thinking back to that and I actually was also watching another Simmer Smaller Simmer and I really like her content quite a bit. I'm not going to name her, but basically she had taken a long break from YouTube because people had done like personal threats against her and I that broke my heart because there really was no reason for it. She, she didn't have anything controversial. Like she didn't even have like opinion videos or anything like that. So I think besides like Facebook and social media, like I said, it happens everywhere. It happens in high school. It happens at college. It happens even in your adult life, and bullying comes in different forms. It can be about, you know, how you look, or mental illness, how you speak, or maybe they think you don't fit in, or whatever it is, right? And so I think there's like this idea that bullying is like a high school thing, but I don't think it is. And I also think that bullying comes in different forms. There's like subtle forms, there's outright forms, and I also think that sometimes quote, quote, bullying isn't always, like, by the person who is kind of instigating it. I don't think it's always meant as bullying. I think sometimes there's little things that can hurt us. And what you have to know is it gets better. Excuse me. It gets better. So if you are going through something right now, just know that, like, it's not going to last forever and that one person's opinion of you doesn't define you. And the best thing you can do is just spread love and kindness rather than, you know, bringing it back or attacking or whatever. And like I said, none of us are perfect. All of us, in our own way, shape, and form, we say things and do things, you know, that can be critiqued. And that's true. But that also isn't the whole of who we are. The whole of who we are is what we care about, our passions, and, you know, what our meaning in life is. And... The whole of us is not our mistakes. The whole of us is not what other people see as flaws, which might not even be flaws. It's basically that better trait, that better side of us. And that's kind of why I had a lot of fun with this cast video, doing those stereotypical looks and types, but also giving them a really unexpected trait to show that we're all very complex human beings and it takes getting to know someone and sometimes our first impressions are wrong. It takes getting to know someone to really see the beauty of that person. So on that note, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like or at least just comment below. I care more about that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.